as you can see things are gonna get very messy so i'm gonna have to try to eat this as neatly as possible you got lots of ants <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. So it's ready, nice and fresh and very hot. I'm about to taste it. Good morning. It's my first Saturday here in the Philippines. Well, not just Saturday, it's actually my first full day here in the Philippines. First full day here in Manila. Um, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm planning on going to the Salcedo market. It's basically a food market that they have on every Saturday. So I've purposely kept my stomach empty so just so I can go let's let's go there. So we've just got here to Salcedo, here's the entrance. We've got a very friendly looking security guard here. Yeah, face mask. Face So we're outdoors but we still got to wear a face mask. Chang Chai. This looks like everybody's cafe. Oh, what have we got here? Rain Mysterio. Right, guys. <laughs> As you can see, we are sold out. Ogi, how was that breakfast burrito? Great. Awesome, brother. Thank you very much. Wow, what were you selling? We are selling Mexican food. 100% chingon, legit, done by a real Mexican. That's what we sell here. Okay. So we always sell out. So catch us next week. We'll be here. All right. Every Saturday, we're here at the Salcedo Market from 7 o'clock a.m. till 2 p.m. And if not, you can catch us at SM Aura. We have a store on the fourth floor. But they should come early, right? Or else you'll you be sold out. Early. If you're going to have some Mexican <laughs> you got to come early. So these are some of the prices here. We got breakfast free or for free AC. Okay, I'm posting it right now. We are sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Okay, so what, you're Mexican yourself or? Yeah, sir, yes, okay, sir. Okay, nice to meet you. Soy Mexicano, 100% chingon. Okay. <laughs> what brings you to the Philippines? I've been working here for the last 10 years. Man. I'm an executive chef by trade, but I've been doing this for three years now. And can't really find any good Mexican food, so why not do it myself? Oh, do it yourself. If you can't find it, you do it yourself. There you go. All right, then. Well, I'll keep it moving. Best of luck. Sounds All right, good. take What's care. No mad mo. No matter what? No, I'll, I'll give you a card. Alright, sounds good. I'll give you my card too as well. So we're trading cards out. There you go. <laughs> it's All like right, Pokemon. No Mo. Alright, Mo. And we've got Johnny Rodriguez. Yes, sir. Yeah. Alright, Pokemon. Oven here. Oh, wow. He's making pizza from scratch. Pizza, sir. He's making pizza from scratch. Wow. Let's see if we can get a better look of how he's making. So it comes in a box like that. Can't get it any fresher than that. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Wow. What sort of different flavors do you do? Hmm? Pizza. What flavor pizzas do you do? Uh, you got a menu here? Okay, so these are all the different flavors you got here. You got four cheese, margarita, pepperoni. Pizza man. There are the parcels for eight inch frozen. Sorry if the audio is muffled a little bit it's because of the mask that I'm wearing. James and daughter comfort food. What's okay. it? This is a crepe station, I believe, where they sell savory crepes and they sell 
dessert crepes as well. Got a shawarma station here as well. The big shawarma. They're selling some samosas, bro. We've got some fresh juices here. See some of these lads are buying some. What flavour are you buying? Uh, the, the coconut one. Oh, the coconut one. Fresh buco juice, fresh melon juice. Have you been here before or is it your first time? Yeah, we've been here before. You've been here before. Is this How one of your favourite schools? We just, I don't know, we just passed by it and just wanted to drink something. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, enjoy guys. You too. Yeah, you too. Oh, we've got some fresh fruits over here. We've got some... Is that jack, durian or jackfruit? Durian. Oh, Maram. they call it marang here. Maram. Maram. Durian. Mangosteen. Whoa. That is my favorite exotic fruit. I have to get some. How much is that? 400. That's bang pot, sir. This one is local. 150. Yeah, I want the local one. I want the local one. I love this one is imported, sir. Not imported. I want to try. I'm in Philippines, so I want to try ah, okay. the Philippines one for you. <laughs> one buy, sir. Yeah, I How do. How many, sir? Uh, one kilo. Can you check, like, for good one? Okay, sir. Yeah. I was not expecting to come across that today. Whoa, that's made me so happy. I didn't know that Philippines have local mango skin either. Are these ones sweet? Yes, sir. Yeah? Sweet. Sweet. Uh, let's keep it moving. I think they've got some more shops through here. There are a few more shops down that way, but let's have a look in here first. I'm so happy about these mango scenes. <laughs> Hello, Morning, sir. Oh, we've got some woodwork here. Uh, one Hello. 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 No, thank you. I'm just seeing what you're selling here. What are you selling? Uh, Spanish chorizo, sir. Spanish chorizo, yes. okay. We're using local meat, but all the spices, uh, spices came from Spain. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I think this is like the snack area. Oh, we've got some desserts here. Hello, come on, I'm just seeing what you have here. Are these local desserts? You made this? Yes, oh wow. Fresh. So I'm new, I'm new. So I only do and then I extend it till July. What's the name of these? Ense Mata. Ense Mata. Like this? Yes. Uh, what what is inside it? Uh only that inside. Picorino cheese and buttercream. Ah. Is that for like breakfast or is it a lunch? Breakfast is healthy. Oh, that's what so people use the happy. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back. Thank you. Hello, Kostaka. You've got some bed bread here, is it? Yep, it's oh. bread. <laughs> but your bread looks a bit exotic. You've got different European. European, is it? Well, I've, not seen, I've not seen bread like this in London. I <laughs> probably did uh, sourdough. Everyone's in the sourdough. All right, keep it moving. Thank you. Thank you. We got some very friendly vendors over here. Oh wow, this market is quite big. It does as well. Hello, Kostaka. What do you do here? Uh, we sell chia bowls and chia drinks. Oh wow. So 
So you're healthy. You're the yeah, healthy yeah. stool. We have the vegan version of your chia bowls. Oh. Yeah. So I'll just show you the vegan versions of the chia bowls that they have here. Are you here so every Saturday? What we make, these are the chia bowls, the ones. And you have chia drinks as well, right? Yeah, right. You want to see those bottles? Yeah. So they're actually called life bowls. They're gonna show me what uh, what they look like. So, this wow! This is this are our drinks. This is a strawberry, a mango, and avocado. Mm. We also have uh, chocolate. What is your best seller? Uh, these two. These are our best sellers: mango and strawberry. Mm. So this basically our drinks. So, can people only find you here on Saturdays, or are you uh, anywhere else? So, uh, in uh, Legaspi Market on Sundays, then we're available on Grab Food and Food Panda. Nice, nice. Okay. So she just moved it from here to here. What's this mix? This one? Butter. Butter. Yeah. Okay. But I didn't know she'll put milk onto it like that. So I have to be very careful. Do you know what? Leave it open. I'll try it now. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Have you got a spoon or a fork or anything? Oh, no, sorry. No? Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Are you? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll pay for it. How much is it? Uh, 120. They don't want to wait. Can we get some of our tickets? Yeah, that would be good. Hi, yes. Friends, come on. Hi. Hi. Do you want to save it? Yes, it's okay. Thank you very much. Alright, thank you, sir. Thank can you. I have your name, please? Yes, of course you can. Here's my card. Oh, that's someone else's. You gave it to me. There you go. That's my card. Yeah. So first video will be up today at 6 pm. Oh, I see. Alright, okay. we'll check it out. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right. Enjoy. So let me go try this now. Let's see. What we'll do, we'll just rest this against uh, the gate here. It is raining. Mm. That sauce they use is very well, it's fresh chocolate bits. Let's see if we can try. It's going to be a bit difficult. Oh, it's very hot. I think I should wait for it to cool down. Alright, we'll be back when this cools down a little all right so it's cooled down a little bit as you can see things are gonna get very messy so i'm gonna have to try to eat this as neatly as possible all right so moment of truth let's go That is absolutely delicious. You can see the chocolate there oozing out. Oh gosh. The consistency is really soft and really fluffy. I think this is best served when it's warm. All 
absolutely delicious. Cost one twenty, which is around just less, just less than two pounds, which is about two dollars. Really enjoying it. I need to try getting these fingers clean now. Yay. How you doing? Yeah. yeah. So what have you got here for me? What is this? Rambutan? <laughs> yes sir, Rambutan. Oh, what's that? Mandarin sir. What's Mandarin? Um, it's like um, a citrus fruit sir. Citrus fruit? Yes. Sir. It's like an orange but... You got lots of ants here. <laughs> I just so much ants here. Yes, sir, because these are sweet. Oh, so they like going in. <laughs> yes, in this specifically. Oh, yeah. in the rambutan. Yes, sir. So mandarin is like a orange. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's a citrus fruit. Yes. And what is this one? It's a cotton fruit. Ay, de. Ano siya? Um, tawag dito. Sugar fruit ata. Nde, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Uh, wait lang, I'm going to go. What's the name of Custard fruit. Apple sugar. Custard apple. Custard apple. Custard apple. Yes. I don't know what custard apple looks like this. So you can see on the texture, it's actually a raised texture. It's come across a place called Tuna Town. I think they make a lot of different dishes out of tuna hello is this fried tuna no grilled 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 tuna okay tuna deli tuna yeah which that's pork joe yeah, what does that mean? Jaw. Oh, the no, jaw. The jaw of the tuna. Wow. I've never had that. Uh, why is it so big? Big tuna. Oh, it's a big tuna. Tuna belly. Tuna belly. Oh, tuna belly. Does this come by itself or with any sauce or anything like that? Yes. Which sauce? With... Uh, Soy sauce. soy sauce. With soy sauce. This one, chili. Chili. And this one, vinegar. Fancy. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> Is that one very spicy? Yeah. Okay, I want something low spice. Low spice. Low spice. Yeah, tuna belly, please. Tuna belly? Yeah, let me try that. One. Small one, small one. Small one, yeah. One. Yeah, it's okay. No bones, right? Yeah. So I think it's half cooked first and then they uh, grill it again. No bones? No bones. This one, boneless or bones? Milk fish. Milk fish. Which one's that called? Milk fish, no bones. Oh, wow. Boneless. So as you can see, he's spanning it on the grill. Uh, how much is this, please? No, the one I bought. Three hundred. Ah, it's too much. It says 150 here. It's okay. I'll give you 300. We're getting hustled out here. Even though it says uh, 150 there. It's charging me 300. Hmm. So it's ready, nice and fresh and very hot. I'm about to taste it. So I've just picked up the fish. What I need is a nice juice, fresh, pure juice to have with this fish. But let's see what's here. 
Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are juices are these? Yes. These are the juices and then we also have fresh fruit shakes. Fresh? Fruit shakes. Fresh fruit shakes. Yes. What juice is this one? It's a cucumber. Cucumber. And this one? It's a pandan and cocoa. It's a coconut. Coconut? Yes. Uh, I'll try the coconut one. Which size sir? This one 90 pesos and this one is 50 pesos. I just want a small one. I just want to taste it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. There's lots of uh, electrolytes and coconut juice, so let's see. Sorry, how much do I owe you? 50 pesos. 50 pesos. It was two. Oh, I've dropped it now. Tastes nice and fresh. She didn't put the lid on properly, unfortunately. That is very refreshing. It's refreshing, but it doesn't feel like it's 100% coconut if you get what I mean. It doesn't feel like it's 100% coconut. But it's refreshing on a hot day, this is what you need, man. I wanna find a place to sit and eat the fish. So it's actually based in, um, in this park here. It's called Jamie C. Valsquez Park. Surely they have seating area in here. Yep, I see some benches over there. found some benches here first things first I'm gonna have to try put on this uh, this lid on properly okay I think that's secure now all right Hopefully I don't get shouted at by some security guards now. The thing about those masks, they mess up your beard and make it go spirally and make it go everywhere. All right. Let's open this tuna. She wrapped it very well. I'm not gonna eat it with my left hand. So I have to hold the camera. Wow, look at the glaze on that. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. But there is a nice glaze on that. So I don't know if I should literally just bite into it like it's a burger, but I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see. I did say low spice. It's very salty, it's what you expect from tuna. 
but you can taste like the smoky barbecue of it because it's been grilled on the barbecue you get that smoky barbecue flavor come through so I don't know if you can see there it's got that really chewy consistency I'll rate it maybe 6 out of 10 it's so expensive for this slice of tuna 300 pesos I paid for it so which is around 5 pounds around 6 dollars or maybe it's not expensive maybe it's just normal price but um for 300 pesos you could probably get a meal in Jollibee for that but hey this is fresh tuna I'm gonna finish this up guys and then I'll try the mangosteen all right guys so we're about to try the mangosteen here this is a Filipino mangosteen not from Bangkok so it's a local one that's what she said um, it costs 300 for a kilo which is I'm fine with that price because a mangosteen that's very good a few a kilo in Chinatown in the UK in England is about 14 pounds so I can't complain paying five pounds for a kilo uh, so yeah so how you open it is literally well this is how I do it maybe there's a right way but you pinch it like that crush it open and then there you've got the fruit inside and you peel it open more Then you got the fresh flesh inside. It looks a bit like a garlic. Yeah, beautiful. Just as I expected. It's exactly what I wanted. One tip guys, if you refrigerate it and then you have it on a nice hot day, Nothing's better than that. If you put it in the fridge. Unfortunately, my hotel doesn't have a fridge. So I have to finish these fairly quick. I probably have to finish them by today or tomorrow at the latest because they can go off and when they go off, they're not edible. You can't even, you know, when, when you get an off apple or a banana, you can cut off the bad pieces. But with, with mangosteen, you can't do that. Once one or two goes off, they, they will ruin. Oh, delicious.